Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to copy and paste a DWG file from AutoCAD to 3ds Max. The first thing we need to do is download the copy paste DWG script. We can find the download link to the light and full versions of the script on scriptspot.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description. For this tutorial, we're going to use the full version, but I'm also going to show you the light version. To download the light version, you need to scroll down to the middle of the page. Here, you can find a Turbo Squid link where you can download it to buy the full version. You can also find the link to the pizza Moon website on this page. To start the light version, we just need to drag and drop it to any of the 3ds Max views. We need to do this anytime we want to use this version of the script. Half of the options are disabled, but it's fully functional and it works well with 3ds Max 2022. For the full version, we're also going to drag and drop it to any of the 3ds Max viewports. After it has been installed, we need to add the script to a toolbar. We can click the Install button, and on the new screen, we will find the steps to add it. Click Open Customize User Interface button. Then, go to the Toolbars tab. In the Category section, choose Pizza Moon. Then, drag and drop the Copy Paste the WG icon to one of the toolbars. If you want to know more about toolbars and how to create them, you can see my toolbars video in this link. After this, we need to open the DWG file in AutoCAD. Then, select what you want to copy and press Ctrl plus C to copy the selection. For the light version of the script, we're going to leave all the settings as default and press the Paste button. Everything is imported into the 00 DWG import Pizza Moon layer. Now, let's select the elevation in AutoCAD and in 3ds Max, run the script again, but this time we're going to select Import Options to open the import settings and we're going to deselect all to one layer. With this, we have access to the 3ds Max AutoCAD import settings and instead of importing everything to one layer, we now have the same layers as the AutoCAD selection. For the full version, we have similar options. In AutoCAD, select the floor plan. Then, we're going to copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C. After this, go to 3ds Max and run the script from the toolbar. We're going to use some of the full version options. To start, check Make Splines Flat to C equals 0 to flatten all the imported splines. Then, we're going to change the name of the layer to Floor Plan 01 and press the plus button to add it. Check Create Selection Set to make it easier to select later. And for the group, we're going to select Same as Layer Name. To finalize, press the Paste button. After it has been imported, we can confirm that the layer group and selection set have been created and that all the splines are flat on the C axis. We are now going to select the elevation in AutoCAD and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. In 3ds Max, we're going to change the layer name to elevation and check the move pivot to front to move the pivot to the bottom. Then press the paste button. We can see that we have the elevation layer, group, and selection set, and also the pivot point is at the bottom of the object. If the imported objects are far from the 0, 0 point, 3ds Max can have some issues. To fix this, we can check the move to xy equals 0, 0 to import the selected objects at the center of the scene. Using this script can save you a lot of time when you're working with AutoCAD files. It has many options that can help us to fix problematic files and also to organize our projects better. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.